Hey hi everyone i welcome you all to this session my name is sumit and today we are going to discuss one more important interview question so the question says that we need to sort an array consisting of 0 1 and 2 in order of n time complexity okay so if you see here on my screen uh, one array is given to you and it consists of 0 1 and 2 okay so how you can sort that in ascending order or you can say descending order as well so basically the condition here is that we need to use order of n time complexity so let us see so let me open my eclipse editor so in general suppose if you have given one array like this how you used to sort okay so what, what I, I am discussing what is order of n it mean so let me so in general how we used to do and i will use two for loop then i will say array dot length and i will say plus plus increment the value of i and again i will take j equals to zero j less than array dot length and plus plus j and if i will say if array of i greater than array of j then what i will do i will swap the number so i will say into temp variable and then i will say temp equals to array of i and array of i sorry okay yeah temp equals to array of i array of i will have the value of array of j so and array of j equals to temp so this way it will be uh, sorted in the descending order so here i will say temp okay so some error is coming so okay so it should be integer type so in general if you see the time complexity of this program suppose the array length is four here right so not suppose it is actually four so array length is four so this for loop will run four times this for loop will run four times four times it will run and if you see this one this this particular for loop inside one it will start from zero and it will go until array dot length which is again four so it will this inner for loop will also run four times which means if this loop will run four time and each time this for loop will run so total it will again run four into four so total how many times it will run both the for loop four into four which means it will be 16 which means it is order of n square so this is the time complexity in worst case we can say like if we are having the time complexity which means it is order of n square time but our question says that you need to sort the array this this is the array in order of n time which means you cannot use like these two for loops otherwise the time complexity will be order of n square so how we can achieve the same so let us see so let me remove this so that i did just for the explanation purpose so let me remove from here to here so okay now let me remove this and uh, yeah so how we can do the same so this is the array given so this array will consist of only only zeros ones and twos ones and twos so our first approach can be like you can use collection as well but here we are collection interface in java i am talking about but we are not uh, seeing the other things just we need to use for loop and how we can achieve we need to see that so how we can do only using for loop so first of all i will count the total number of 0 1 and 2 so let us count so for that i will create three variable so int count to zeros it will be equal to 0 so initial value will be 0 i am giving so i can count it and count once equals to again 0 and int count twos so twos equals to again 0 so three value variable i have created and now i will run one for loop so that for loop will traverse the entire array so i will say array dot length zero i am taking zero because array index in java start from zero and i will say if array of i am fetching the value array of i equals to equals to zero then i will say increment the value of count zeros so 
let me copy this and paste it here similarly if i say else if array of i is equals to 1 then i will say increment the value of this variable so by the end of this for loop but i will write one more condition before that array of i equals to equals to 2 so i will increment this value so this way i will debug the program as well if you want to see so okay so count of count of twos so basically this for loop will calculate and if you see the time complexity of this loop it will traverse the entire array so the time complexity will be order of n okay so this this is the time complexity so we have calculated the number of zeros number of ones and number of twos into this entire array so how many zeros are here one two three four five so this will contain the five value and similarly one two three four five six so total i think one two three four five six yeah so it will contain this one will contain six total number of twos and what about one one two three four five six seven so this will have seven so now i got the count of each and every element which is zero one and two now i will write one more for loop for int i equals to zero again i will run then let me take j or you can take i as well because it is local variable so no issues in that then i will say array dot length and then i will say plus plus increment the value of y uh, okay so after that what we need to do mm, yeah so now again i will i will compare if so this is this is i will compare if count of zeros greater than one which means which means we are having one then what i will do then i will say array of i equals to zero and i will decrease the value of this so i will debug this as well then you will understand very better so let me yeah so now similarly i will write two more condition so how we can write one more and one more then i will say else if count of ones and then i will say array of i equals to one i will place one if this condition matches and then i will decrement the value like this similarly like this for the third time i will say if count this one zero one two so i will say two and uh, if this is greater than one then i will also decrement decrement this value okay so let us create one function to display the array instead of writing the entire code let me create one function public static void so creating the static so that i don't need to create the object of this class while calling the method so this will take our array and here i will simply use for each loop uh, i will say for int data in array so this will going to print all the data of the array so i will say data okay so if you see this uh, what i will do i will call this method after this and one more thing what is the time complexity from here to here again it will run from i equals to zero to the total number of length so again it will be order of n time right order of n and uh, now i will call the display method and i will pass my array so this array i am pass passing here so what is the array we are having this is the array okay so this array i am passing here so it will go here and print the array so let us see the output and then we'll, we will debug the program to understand it more better so you can see okay we got the output but not the correct output i guess i i made some mistake so count of zeros we say greater than one count of zeros count of ones mm, count of ones is here count of twos is here so count of zeros count of ones count of twos this is correct uh, minus we are decrementing as well count of ones okay okay i guess due to this because it is checking both the condition at the time at the same time so that's the reason so now if you see this how is the output first we got zero then ones like this and then two okay so still we are not getting the correct output now let us see how, what is the issue so 
so count of zeros count of ones and count of twos so i guess it's correct by it's giving the wrong output so let us first debug the program we will automatically understand right so not an issue so let me debug the program so okay so if you see this yeah so if you see this variable what is the total count of zeros it is five so zero one zero second zero three four and five okay now here count of ones it will be seven so one two three four five six seven and this this should also be correct count of twos will be six so one two three four five and six so the count is correct okay now if you see this one i am saying if count of zeros greater than one okay so okay i think yes it should because of this condition i give the incorrect condition basically so it should be greater than zero okay so it should be greater than zero this is what i wanted to have it here so let me run it once then i will debug again so now this time you can see okay i gave the incorrect condition so zero then all ones then all twos so now debug it again uh, so let me reset the perspective uh, perspective open perspective java okay now debug it switch okay now if you see for the first condition what is the count five is five is greater than zero so there is one variable section here uh, yeah here okay somehow it is not uh, coming like that wait so if i open the variable window perspective open perspective java okay so where is our variable part okay it is not coming somewhere here it's debug one and uh, somewhere here it should be now it is not showing or we can search it variables okay now it is here so what we can do yeah so this is our variable part okay count of zeros will be this count of ones will be seven and six so now what is our array so basically this is our original array 0 2 2 2 like that so it is saying that at index number 0 put the put value equals to 0 if count of 0 is greater than 0 so right so now after that it decremented the count and it become 4 again it will do like this switch okay somehow it is coming like that not an issue so what it is saying then as of now value is equal to 2 but i am saying if count of 0 is greater than 0 put value equals to 0 in index number 2 so it will put 0 here okay so like that it is doing so now you can see the value so it became 0 similarly it will decrement now again it will run count of zeros will be 3 so and what is the value of i value of i will be 2 so i am saying if count of zeros greater than 0 then put 0 here again it will put 0 okay so it will put 0 like this it will keep on running till it find that the count of 0 will be less than or equal to 0 okay so let me run it once so i guess after this now it is 1 again it will put the 0 see now after that it this condition became false because 0 is not greater than 0 but it has run five time and it places five zero like this so first we got this part and now after that it will keep on uh, it will first check this condition and keep on uh, 
getting that value keep on printing that value or you can say not printing putting that value into the array which is one so it will again run like that okay so until this second so this condition will never become true now because it will be zero every time so now again run it now it will put one so like that i will do it very fast so what is the count now yeah four so let me run four more time one two three and four okay so now you can see first it has put zero after that it will run once like that total number of ones and at then it will put total number of twos so it will run six time because it is the value of six value of the count twos is six so it will put two six time and what is the value of i 12 okay so value five has become 12 now again it will run and it will simply put all the twos and once it has done that our array will become 0 1 and 2 in the ascending order so let me run it what is the value okay zero now condition will false and also this this loop will terminate because the array dot length will become has become the maximum length okay so it reaches to the end the loop terminate now this is our original array and i am sending that array here okay so put one breakpoint resume the program and now if you see this is the array and one by one we are printing the value and this is how we are getting the data okay so let me run it like this 0 1 and 2 okay so this is how yeah so we were talking about the time complexity so if you see this part this for loop has run order of n time okay and this one has also run order of n time so total will be what is the total of total time complexity it will be let me write here order of n plus order of n again it will be order of n okay so if you have any confusion uh, what is that time complexity is still after that then you can see some youtube videos about that in detail so here we are not discussing on in detail so it will be in worst case it will be order of n okay so this is how you can uh, uh, tackle this interview question that if someone asks you how you can sort the array in order of n time and one more thing uh, if you want the data this in descending order so how you can achieve so it's very simple let me show you quickly so if you see this what you can do just instead of this writing here first write this and then write this and then third one okay so it will work like that so i'll save here and here i will say so if you see the output will be in the reverse order okay in so we will get the output in the descending order you can say so first we get the total number of twos then ones and then zeros okay so this is how you can check this you can have that you can solve this question so if you have any questions or doubts you can paste it in the comments